Hi, I'm Mike Turner, your friendly filmmaker, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Canon XF605. I'm also going to just talk about camcorders in general and whether or not these, these particular cameras are really professional. And the reason that I'm talking about this is because I was on Facebook and I was in one of my wedding videography forums and someone was talking about the Canon XF605. And then he said this. I just want to quote this so that, you know, I'm not saying the wrong thing. But the post said, unpopular opinion, dash. There is nothing professional about a professional camcorder. So there's nothing professional about a professional camcorder. So first, let's just talk a little bit about the Canon XF605. Now, if you're not new to my channel, you know I used to own the XF400, which is also a camcorder, but it's not really, I wouldn't say it's really their professional tier, it's more of their prosumer tier, but it definitely has all the professional functions that you would expect in something that costs over $2,000. Now, just like the XF400, the 605, comes with the ND filters. It is a fixed lens camcorder, so you're not gonna have to swap out lenses. It has a 15 time zoom, but over the XF400, it has way better video codecs. So this can shoot 4K60 in 10-bit 422. Not only that, it can also shoot up to 120 frames per second in full HD. Um, of course, it's coming with your full HDMI, comes with SDI, comes with time code and all this all the other high-end professional features you would expect out of a camcorder that's gonna cost you about $4,500. It's got image stabilization built into it. It's giving you a lot of bells and whistles. Like I mentioned before, this thing has a 15 time zoom. You can control the zoom using the toggle, the zoom toggle on the camera body, the handle, or on one of the three zoom rings. So you have three zoom rings, one for zoom, focus, one for aperture, which of course makes shooting very, very fast, very, very convenient. That's what camcorders are all about. I don't mention, remember if I mentioned it, but of course it, it has the, uh, the ND filters built into it as well. It's coming with a one inch sensor. So it's a little bit bigger than, you know, your half inch sensors and some of the other camcorders. But nowadays I feel like the one inch sensor is kind of like a standard when it comes to a professional camcorder. Um, I really wish, just as a little side note, that they will make more camcorders with a Micro Four Third sensor in it, like the Panasonic DVX 200. The only problem with that camcorder is it's really big. I wish they would make something that's in a kind of a smaller package that has a slightly bigger image sensor so you can get better low light performance. And the thing that I really love about the XF605 over something like the XF400 is that it has a whole lot of buttons on it, man. And I've mentioned that in other videos. That's why I like professional camcorders because you have buttons for everything. It makes it much faster to shoot video than using something like a mirrorless camera. It's just easier when you're shooting live events, when you have dedicated uh, dials and, and switches and buttons and rings for individual things. It just makes you quicker. So this camera looks like it's gonna be really quick. And the price of it, I feel like, yeah, that's, they priced it pretty right for what it can do. Now, going back to the subject of whether or not the 605 is a professional camcorder, my response to the gentleman was, I doubt anybody would buy this $4,500 camcorder to shoot their kid's soccer game. Unless you're just really that wealthy. But it indeed to me is a professional camcorder. I think his argument was, you know, a red camera, an airy camera, um, something like a C300, those are professional cameras. Anything that is a camcorder or even a smaller mirrorless camera, like he mentioned in his post, something like the A6500, which I own a A6400, a Sony A6400. He doesn't classify that as professional either, even though he's used that to shoot weddings. Well, if you've used it to shoot weddings and you've gotten paid for it, to me, it's professional. Because once you get paid, someone looks at your work and they say, your work is good enough that I'm going to pay you. To me, you're a professional. It doesn't really matter what is in your hands. So long as you know how to use that tool, 
to the best of its ability and you're able and even, not even the best of its ability but enough that someone is willing to pay you for it because they can see that you can use it better than they can then you're professional that's just my opinion not sure what your opinion is but you can put it down below also what do you guys think about this new xf 605 is it ticking some of the boxes for you are you guys interested in this camera do you not even care i'm curious to find that out who's gonna buy it and matter of fact just so you know the camera recording us right now is also a camcorder this is the panasonic x1500 which i just purchased about a week ago i'm planning on trying to use this at weddings as some of you guys who follow my channel know i've used camcorders at weddings before the xf400 the sony nx80 even the jvc 170u many many moons ago and in my experience it's not that they're not professional it's just that they're limited in what they can do because of the smaller sensors inside they're not going to be great in low light right now i'm in like my little home studio i got lights two lights blasting on me i got like a little light behind me lighting up the wall so i can make this camcorder look pretty decent when you have a lot of light i want to see if when i bring this to camcorder to weddings if it's going to do do well for just getting those wide shots of the reception wide shots at the ceremony um being able to to pull in some audio from my wireless mics and stuff like that it's probably not going to be my main camera at weddings but I wanted something that was fixed lens, small, had a lot of features, a lot of video codecs in it, the ND filters, all that good stuff, so that if I want to, I can grab this and get the outdoor shots and be able to zoom in, zoom out. Um, you know, when someone is across the way about to hug that, that, that guest that they haven't seen for years, I wanna be able to get it, even if I'm like 200 feet away. With something like this, you can do that and being able to save me space because I don't have to bring something like a C100 Mark II or my JVC LS300, which is the body and then separate lenses on top of that. I'm just trying to save space, save weight, and this might be a replacement to those cameras, but we have to see. So go ahead and to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. And also I'm gonna be doing some reviews about the X1500 in the future as I do some more testing. Um, among other cameras and among other video production devices. So anyway, I'm Mike Turner. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you soon.